I this guy that's called combined strings. What do we have to do? Well, we have to build a function and it has to accept two arguments, the first at the last name. And the only thing that we have to do is to return the full name. Let's go. So first of all, how do we create a function? Well, for that, we use the dev keyword that the name of the function, this should be combined names, then parentheses to put the arguments in and then a colon. And the arguments will be first name and last name. It doesn't matter how you write it, but let's go for first underscore name and last underscore name. Let's check it out if this actually works and return the arguments without any formatting. Yeah. So let's go for the first method. How can we combine these strings? Well, for that, we can use a plus operator. So return the first name plus and then a white space. As you see here in the expected output, again, a plus operator and then the last name. Is it equal to the expected output? Yeah. Okay. Let's comment that out. Then we have a second method. And that's the format function that works as follows. So we return and then a string with two placeholders with the white space between them. Then the dot format method. And then as arguments, we pass in the first name and the last name. And what basically happens is that these arguments are positional. So the first name will be placed in this placeholder and the last name will be placed in this placeholder. And in that way, the string will be returned. Again, that is the same as ex the expected output. Yeah, okay. And then last but not least, my favorite, the F string, method three. So what we do is the following, we return and then use an F string and quotation marks. And here we place the arguments in the string wrapped in curly braces. So for here we have the first name and there we have the last name. Let's put the names in. And this will return the first name and the last name properly formatted. James Stevens. Again, the expected output. True. Well, let's test this out. Attempt. And there we go. Hope this has been useful. Did you learn something from it? Well, thank you for watching and hope to see you in another video. Ciao.